What's up everybody, this is Everything Apple Pro and I have some great news for you guys. I Hate Snow has just released his beta version of Snowbreeze that will jailbreak iOS 4.3. Now I've tried it on several devices and it actually works really good even though it hasn't been released to the public. Now it is semi tethered though so if you turn your device off or the battery dies it will boot up normally it's just that Cydia or any of your apps will not work meaning you have to connect it to your computer and run a tethered boot utility in order to boot it properly. The devices that are supported by this semi tethered jailbreak are the iPhone 4, the 3GS, the 3GS old boot ROM which is actually untethered so you don't have to connect it to the computer to boot it, the iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gen devices. Now mobile substrate does not work meaning that many apps in Cydia will not be compatible and this isn't a complete jailbreak it's it's been rushed and it's a beta firmware as I said so you're kinda taking a risk although it does work great and if there's an annotation up here guys please click on it you'll be doing yourself a big favor because in the future I may or will release the untethered 4.3 jailbreak video and you'll definitely want to go see that if you have an iPhone 4 or a 3GS please do not update if you rely on an unlock or are waiting for one because there are no guarantees that 4.3 will even have an unlock faster than 4.2.1 and if you are very impatient and you don't care about an unlock this will preserve your baseband so a future unlock may work on 4.3 and that baseband but there are no guarantees so I would just recommend staying on 4.2.1 with your iPhone right now and not risking anything in the future okay so let's begin now on my desktop I have Snowbreeze 2.3 Beta 1 and I may add a link to the newer version of Snowbreeze if it comes out and don't worry about this this will appear after you run Snowbreeze and make sure you have your 4.3 firmware also and links will be in the description there will be one link to my site where you'll find a more in-depth guide and links to all of these files that you need okay so go ahead and run Snowbreeze it should automatically run as administrator and click OK and close credits so it'll give you some warnings again this is beta but I found it works great so I kinda would recommend it but if you're if you're not into the risk and you just wanna keep your device safe then maybe you don't wanna do this but I'm gonna go ahead and click next and yes and now I'm just gonna browse for my firmware you could drag it in and it'll identify it for a bit okay so I have an iPod touch 4th gen and I'll just click next and expert mode next and click on build IPSW and next now you can play Pac-Man but I found it doesn't work it's just a white screen and it'll take a bit maybe 10 minutes so I'll be right back alright so Snowbreeze has finished now we're gonna make sure our device is plugged in and go ahead and click OK and we're gonna be putting it into DFU mode so get ready now we're just gonna turn it off and okay okay so I'm pretty sure all of you guys know how to do this but I'm just gonna begin following the directions anyway so hold power button or prepare to hold it in 3 2 1 then hold home and power for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 now you're gonna let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until snow breeze recognizes your device alright so here we see it's exploiting with lime rain and it'll only take a second and there you go you get this pop-up so you're good to go and you can click OK wait for it to clean up a bit and okay so you can go ahead and close snow breeze and your device should be black open up iTunes and now we will hit shift on our keyboard and restore and select the snow breeze and your device IPSW okay and click restore so now your device will begin to restore it will take about 10 minutes and you shouldn't get any errors guys so this will only take a bit and I'll be right back okay so my iPod touch has just finished booting after the custom restore and we will now see Cydia on our springboard and if you try to open it it'll just crash and that's because we haven't run our tethered boot utility yet so go ahead and close iTunes and you'll see a new folder called iBooty for 4.3 on your desktop. Open it up and inside open up iBooty.exe and select your device 
and when you click start it'll ask you to put it into DFU mode and I'm just gonna do that real quick uh, 10 seconds power and home and then let go of power and keep holding the home button it won't take long and iBooty will begin exploiting in just a second there we go now it's exploiting with lime rain and it won't take too long your screen will flash and that's perfectly normal it'll say booting up there and now your device is just booting up like normal guys I have been getting this screen a lot connect to iTunes when trying to boot it tethered if you get this just put it into DFU mode right on this screen while running iBooty and it'll boot just like it should guys one real quick note you will have to run iBooty every time you boot your iPod or iPhone off or your battery dies because every time you reboot it the files are reset so you'll have to do that in order to get Cydia and all of its apps working properly so make sure to save iBooty on your desktop there we go so go ahead and slide to unlock and now Cydia will be working perfectly fine it just hasn't been set up yet. So thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been How to Jailbreak Your iDevice Tethered on 4.3. Now take note, this is a beta video. Again, I will have a link somewhere up here when a newer version comes out. But this is temporary, so I really hope this works for you guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.